All right, so listen. Today we're going to talk about systems of equations with subscripted variables. This is preparing us for distance equals rate times time. Because you're going to notice everything's going to be R and T for capital letters. And everything's going to have a subscript like A or P. So listen, before I do anything, I'm going to count variables. R, A, T, A, R, P, T, P. That's four variables. I have one equation. Here's R, P again. There's my second equation. Here's T, P. Third equation. Here's T, A. Fourth equation. Listen, this is solvable because the number of unknowns and the number of equations are the same. Now, if RP is 50, can't I just put the 50 in here? Yeah. And if TP is 4, I can put the 4 here. Yes. And finally, if TA is 3, I'll put it here. Yes. And if I do that, and I use parentheses when I substitute, because anytime you replace a variable, you do that. I'm left with what? 3RA plus 200 equals 320. So it's just as simple as... So now it's a simple equation. One equation, one unknown. Minus 200. 3RA equals 120. Divide. Divide. RA is 40. Listen, we have now found the variable. It is completely possible. Now, we can do some things. This was easy because there were three numbers. It doesn't always have to be numbers. Here's the equation RTTT plus 120 RRTR. That's four variables. Remember, the subscript doesn't count. RT is one, TT is one, RRTR. There's four. RT, RR, and TT equals TR. Four equations, four unknowns, this is solvable. Again, RT is 2, RR is 10. All right, it says TT is TR. I'm going to put TT, I'm going to replace TT with TR, and I'm only going to do one of the two. All right, if I do this, I get 2 TR plus 120 equals 10 TR. And you notice the goal here is to get down to one equation and one unknown. Now everything is in terms of TR. A little bit of multiplication. I have this. I see that this TR is here and this is here. If I bring this one across, 120 will be by itself. I get 120 equals 8 TR. So I divide by 8, and I get TR is 15. So what is TT? 15. I bring, exactly. I bring it up here. If TR is 15, TT is 15. And this time, I started with four variables and only two knowns, and I found the other two. Again, we can do anything we want as long as the number of equations and the number of variables are the same. Last one I want to show, and then we'll talk about why. RFTF, two variables. RETE, -E, two more variables, that's four. TF, TE, and then RE equals RF plus 15. Four equations, four unknowns. It is solvable. And again, plugging in the numbers is the easiest. Now this time, you don't get to choose in my opinion. It says RE equals RF plus 15. I do not want to reorganize this. So instead of replacing RF, I will replace RE. And if I do that, RF times 16 equals, what's RE equal? It equals RF plus 15. What's TE equal? 12. And again, take a look now. How many variables in this new equation? Just one. Oh. Go ahead and make the multiplication. We always put the number first, right? Multiply the 12 in. All right. 10 times 15 is 150, right? 2 times 15 is 30, right? 150 plus 30 is 180. That's why yeah. we can break apart 10, 12 into 10 and 2. Oh, I got 250. So now you, you, multi, you subtract 12RF. 
and you get 4RF equals 180. Divide by 4, 4 into 180, 16, how about 45? And we get RF is 45. Now I found RF. How do I find RE? You take it back to this equation. RE equals 45 plus R15, and that's RE, so RE equals 60. And again, we started with four equations and four unknowns. Now, they're going to appear in the book like the Reddit problems. And the thing is, these are not that useful unless you understand why we're doing them. This is a problem that we're setting ourselves up for word problems, okay? This is saying something like Andy went, Andy and Peter traveled 320 miles total. Andy spent three hours driving, Peter spent four hours driving, Peter's rate was 50 miles per hour. Calculate the rate of Andrew or Andy. These are going to become word problems in about 10 lessons. This one says the distance Tom traveled was 120 miles less than the distance Roy traveled. No, I said less, so you'd have to add it to make them the same, right? The rate of Troy or Tom was 2, and the rate of Roy was 10, and their times are the same. Calculate how long they were on the road. These are going to become word problems. But before we get to breaking these down, from story problems into equations, we want to become very good at the equations. So the, in the lesson, you're going to find these problems, all right? So we're going to do an example. Let me turn the camera off. 